Hello again, crafty friends. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to color these. And I'm going to color this one with Prismacolor pencils, and I'm going to color this one with Copics. And the reason I'm going to use Prismacolor pencils on this is because the color will show up on this purple. Okay, so here we go. So this is... 915 so I'm gonna I always start I always start now whether this is the right way to do it or not I don't know but this is how I do it start with the lightest color and so in this case it's gonna be the yellow um, because in my in my little pumpkin world that's where that's gonna be the lightest shade you know that you're gonna see on him. Uh, just a little touch up here. That's probably good. Okay, that's all there was to that. Then I'm gonna take a nine sixteen orange. All right. So I'm gonna build out from there. And, and I'm also, like I'm not just going right up to it, I'm going into it a little bit so that that makes my blend better. And then once I get this color laid in there, I'll go back with my yellow again and um, blend it even more. And I'm just going to put this here and there because I'm going to go in with it. One more shade. Let's see what color is this. Orange cadmium. See how good that goes over that? awesome now if I had which I did not if you use a stamp platform and you keep your stamp platform you keep your stamp in your stamp platform when you're through you can re-stamp over it and it'll make all your black lines really crisp again but I didn't but that's an option. It does make for really neat um, stamping. Now, got to get these teeth orange. On the first one I did, I, I was thinking that I might make his teeth white. And then I was like, no, he's a jack-o'-lantern. He can't have white teeth. What are you thinking? All right. So now I'm going to go in with my yellow. And just like that. Like him, like him. All right, so now I need, oh, I needed to do all of his little, uh, lanterns I think I think he's he's in the middle of a lantern vine and then down here I need to sharpen my pencil is another little pumpkin so that's all you do and then I go in go around it Make that side orange. Okay. And now I need myself a brown. How about Sienna Brown?
so I'm just going in and not so much coloring is sort of like it's kind of like drawing lines and if you do that it leaves some spaces that have no color in it or in this case purple which looks like you highlighted it when you didn't it's sort of a cheat now I'm gonna go in with dark brown just here and there around the parts that are crossing over so that they show up a little better okay now I have the option to okay let's look at the stamp so on the stamp you see how they took another color and they and they kind of pulled it all up in there to to give it another color. So since this is all on purple, I think it would look pretty cool if I went in. Hmm. With this one, I think this is what I'm going to use, and it is called Spring Green. So. I'm just going to follow the outline of that. And really, you know, all I'm doing is adding another little punch of color. That's really all I'm doing. Now, okay, so pretty much two oranges, a yellow, and a green, and, a, and two browns was all I used. Now, I am going to take my white gel pen and go over his eyes. And I put a couple more little dots in his eyes because I think he looks a little creepier like that. <laughs> and you know, I love myself some creepy. And, um, and then, like his eyes have some, um, almost like speckles in them and I want them to be jet jet black so I'm going over that and then I'm going to take I have a not that I have a black glitter gel pen and I'm going to go in his in his mouth with that now this is not something you you have to do at all but I like it so on the ones I did before this is with the Copic. I went over his eyes with glossy accents. So you can see that. But this one I'm going to go over with this black gel pen. And it'll give the same kind of effect. But instead of quite as shiny, it'll give you some sparkle. And you know... Doesn't he look like he needs a little twinkle in his eye? Just a little. And then, of course, you can do whatever you want to. So when I stamp this one, confession, do you see how it has more um, squiggly stick sticking out? It's because I overstamped it. And it had a line there and a line there and a line there. So I just took my black pen and made my lines go longer. And it looks like it's supposed to be that way. So, you know, never feel like that you have done something and it's the end. Because it's not. You can fix it. I'm going to put a little highlight in each one of these. Just because. I didn't do it on mine, but I'm going to do it on here because it's... um get my other pen. It's on this dark background and uh, I think it could use just a little bit of glimmer. You know? There we go. Alrighty. And there he is. Okay. Let's see how long I've been doing this nine minutes. I believe I might have time to do this one. Okay, 
So we're going to do this one in Copics. I'm going to have to reach under you, and I'm sorry. So again, you're going to do the same kind of thing. Put yellow in all the yellow places that you want there to be yellow. And then I'm going to use... And you can't even just go over the whole mouth like that. It won't matter because it's on black, you know. Oops, I forgot I was supposed to be coloring my little lanterns. Alright. Now I'm going to go through with a deeper orange. Go just at the top of these. One little place at the bottom of that. And I'm going to bring my yellow back out. And just go over it. It kind of pulls it into each other. I'm going to put yellow there and there and there. And there and there. Pull that down a little bit more. I'm going to get my lighter orange because I want that to come down a little bit more. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use a brown, and just like I did with my pencils, I'm going to just kind of use some strokes instead of coloring, you know, actually filling in like you would do if you were coloring. eyes and this is not something that you have to do but you know I always I have always said whenever I do something it's all about the eyes if you can get the eyes good I think you got it going on and so even if you just put a straight line and some lines in between his teeth it gives his teeth more dimension. It looks a little creepier. Okay. Now, let me add these little dots here. That. All right, and then now I get to decide what color I want to put down here. And I, I'm really fond of that green, so Let's see how we feel about this green. 
Uh, I like it. All right. So again, you're just going to swish, 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 swish. That's all there is to it. And then give yourself a few blades of grass back there. And I'll put glossy accents on this one's eyes, provided my glossy accents Oh, that was almost bad. There came what was holding it up. Okay, so I just paint over that. And then once it dries, you'll have some big old shiny eyes. Now I like to turn it to the side to make sure I got it. Put a dot in there. And you're good. You are good to go. So, in 16 minutes, I did both of them. So what do y'all think? And if you wanted this to be even a little lighter, if y'all don't ha have, I know I always say this, Prismacolors, oh, they're like coloring with butter. So you can lighten that up just a little bit more. The thing is, I don't really think that it looks too dark. It's just when I see it compared to that one, you know? that I want to give it a little more light. And, uh, let me tell you, you can flat do it. I think I am done. So there you go. Now, maybe I'll come back on again and do the others in both, in both mediums. If you would like for me to, let me know. Okay, so here's all three. See, they're alike, but they're not. You know, that's okay. So, anyway, there those are. I love these, and I hope you love them too. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Blessings.